information with regards to the subject matters covered. This information is given with the understanding that neither the hosts, guests, sponsors, or station are engaged in rendering any specific and personal, medical, financial, legal, counseling, professional service, or any advice. You should seek the services of competent professionals before applying or trying any suggested ideas. Books, PD products, science, fashion, and glam talk. From Bollywood to Hollywood, it's Meet and Greet with Dr. Afshan Hashmi. Every Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Right here on K4HD Radio and Talk 4 TV. And here's your host, international speaker, educator, award-winning entrepreneur, and best-selling author, Dr. Afshan Hashmi. Hello everyone, this is your loving host, Dr. Afshan Hashmi, live from Florida studio of K4HD Radio and Talk 4 TV. And friends, before I start the program, today I will be reviewing a book. Uh, I want to remind you that these are my two books. The first one is The Modern Mughal Mentality, New Strategies to Succeed in India and the Global Marketplace. And for this book, uh, was also uh, was hot number one release on Amazon as well as best selling book on Amazon. And I want a documentary to be made so all those Hollywood, Bollywood producers, independent producers, listening, and companies who are uh, here in the uh, featured in this book, please contact me at afshan at drafshanhashmi.com. And for my second book, The Outbreak of a Monstrous Infection, this was also an Amazon bestseller. I want a movie to be made or a TV serial to be made. So all those producers and directors and independent filmmakers listening, please contact me at afshan at drafshanhashmi.com. If you haven't read these two books, please go and buy these two books and give me an honest review. And you know, these book brings food to the table. So it is very important that you go and buy this book and increase the sale of this book having said that now i will ask the uh, uh, dj my sound engineer to please play the first commercial would you love exposure for your business product or service to over 300 million potential listeners send an email to info at talkformedia.com and now let's hear from some of our sponsors Chapter 2 How Jugar Leads to Multi Sector Success Stories in India, including definitions of the Jugar Management Principle Business Model. Of the book The Modern Mughal Mentality New Strategies to Succeed in India and the Global Marketplace. Inspiration True Jugar is an inspiration on how to create products using technology that meet the price value equation. According to a Harvard Business Review article featuring expert Prahlad and Ma- Mashelkar, most innovation programs are built on the assumptions of affluence and abundance. We see the rich and the young in both the developed and the developing countries demanding environmental friendly products and services. They also believe that affordability and sustainability are crucial to driving successful business today. New technologies and radical business models are important not only to penetrate mass markets in India but in the entire world. By reconfiguring all areas of the business structure they will hold. A monstrous infection is spreading worldwide. OMG, is this a simple infection or a deliberate attempt to ruin the human population? Or maybe it's bioterrorism. What is this global infection and who is spreading it? Help us find out. Go to Amazon and search for the outbreak of a monstrous infection. The human race needs your help to make this go viral. Go to Amazon.com and read the outbreak of a monstrous infection to find out what happens next. Go now! The world is depending on you. And 
And now, back to Dr. Afshan Hashmi's radio show. Friends, to bring this kind of program, uh, to produce it, it requires a lot of energy and money. So I would request you to please give me sponsorship for this program as this program is syndicated worldwide to 300 million listeners on more than 100 platforms. And uh, also, for friends, now I will ask DJ to please play the sponsorship film. Would you love exposure for your business, product, or service to over 300 million potential listeners? Send an email to info at talkformedia.com. And now let's hear from some of our sponsors. A monstrous infection is spreading worldwide. Oh my God, is this a simple infection or a deliberate attempt to ruin the human population? Or maybe it's bioterrorism. What is this global infection and who is spreading it? Help us find out. Go to Amazon and search for the outbreak of a monstrous infection. The human race needs your help to make this go viral. Go to Amazon.com and read the outbreak of a monstrous infection to find out what happens next. Go now. The world is depending on you. The outbreak of a monstrous infection, chapter 1, 1964 to 2018. And this is the sample track and it is read by Dr. Afshan Nahid Hashmi. In a sprawling bungalow in Potomac, Maryland, USA, lived Dr. Honey Singh, a board certified internal medicine and family practice physician, along with his beautiful wife, Baby Singh. Baby Singh was a fashionista and was funding women's causes through her Honey Bay Foundation. She had a ladies' book club by the name of Baby's Glam and Glitzy Club, which had many glam and glitzy ladies who were professionals living in Washington, D.C. Potomac, Maryland, Virginia, and even Beverly Hills, California, as well as elites from all of America meeting at her place on the last Wednesday of every month discussing various aspects of charities they wanted her and Dr. Honey to fund. In this club, there was a wide spectrum of career women. There were doctors, lawyers, actresses, business owners, and models to name a few. In these book club meetings, members would come prepared after reading a book of a famous woman author and that author was even invited from any part of the world to give her presentation followed by a Q&A in this prestigious and elite gathering. So now friends, uh, uh, let's uh, do this. Uh, the review of this book, the book is called Secret City, The Hidden History of Gay Washington by James Kirkwood. And this is the book and it's a fantastic book. So let's start the review. And first I will talk about uh, the book. It's a New York Times bestseller. Not since Robert Caro's Years of Lyndon Johnson have I been so riveted by a work of history. Secret City is not gay war history, it's an American history. George Stefano Paulus. Washington, D.C. has always been a city of secret. Few have been more dramatic than the ones revealed in James Kirk's Secret City. For decades, the specter of homosexuality haunted Washington. The mere suggestion that a person might be gay destroyed reputations, ended careers, and ruined lives. At the height of the Cold War, fear of homosexuality became intertwined with the growing threat of international communism leading to a purge of gay men and lesbians from the federal government. In the favored atmosphere of political Washington, the secret to loathsome to mention held enormous terrifying power. Utilizing 
thousands of pages of declassified document interviews with over 100 people and material unearthed from presidential libraries and archives around the country secret city is a chronicle of american politics like no other beginning with the tragic story of summer wellness Franklin Delano Roosevelt's brilliant do uh, diplomatic advisor and the man at the center of the greatest national scandal since the existence of the United States James Curtis illuminates how homosexuality shaped each successful presidential administration through the end of the 20th century cultural and political anxiety over gay pull sparked a decades long witch hunt impacting everything from the rivalry between the CIA and the FBI to the ascent of Joseph McCarthy the struggle for black civil rights and the rise of the conservative movement among other revelations Kretchik tells of the world war 2 era gay spy master who pioneered pioneered seduction as a tool of american espionage the devoted aide from lyndon johnson treated as a son yet abandoned once his homosexuality was discovered and how allegations of a homosexual ring controlling ronald reagan nearly derailed his 1980 election victory magisterial in scope and intimate in detail secret city will forever transform our understanding of american history about the author about mm -hmm. james ah! kirchick james kirchick kirchick is a is a columnist for tablet magazine a writer at large for air mail and the author of secret city the hidden history of gay washington a widely published journalist he has written for the new york times the washington post the wall street journal the los angeles times the frankfurter ali Ming Zenton, the Spectator, the El At uh, Atlantic, the New York Review of Books, and the Times Literary Supplement, among many other publications. His first book, The End of Europe: Dictators, Demographs, and the Coming Dark Age, was published by Yale University Press in 2017. Kirkett is presently a non-resident senior fellow for the Europe Center at the Atlantic Council. From 2017 to 2021, he was a visit. sitting fellow at the center on the united states and europe and project on international order and strategy at the brook uh, brookins uh, institution prior to Bo brookins he was a fellow at the foreign policy initiative in washington dc and a robert bosch foundation fellow in berlin in 2010 he became writer at large for radio free europe Ray Slash Radio Liberty in Prague, where he covered the politics and cultures of the 21 countries in the news company's broadcast region. He covered major events, including the first Libyan civil war, a fraudulent presidential election in Belarus, and revolution and ethnic clashes in Kyrgyzstan. Karakaj uh, began his professional journal journalism career at the New Republic, where he covered domestic politics, lobbying, intelligence, and American foreign policy. Recognized for his voice on American gay politics and international gay rights, he is a recipient of the National Lesbian and Gay Journalist Association's Journalist of the Year Award. He is a professional member of the Pen American Center. And now some editorial. Uh, reviews Secret City by James Kirkich is a sprawling and enthralling history of how the gay subculture in Washington DC long in shadow emerged into the clean lights a luxurious slow rolling cadillac of a book not to be mastered in one sitting as an epic of a dark age complex and shaded secret city is rewarding in the extreme the new york times the truth most clearly revealed by curtius focus on washington is one that pure historians have emphasized for years that change was prompted not by those in the halls of power but by activists working well outside of them so many of those whom Kirkich chronicles seem more com uh, compromised by their proximity to power that embroidered by it. That is also a part of the story of gay life in the United States and Kirkich tells it well, the New Yorker. A robust 
and meaningful stories smartly written with a flexible aperture for capturing the big picture of a moment and narrowing in on the tiniest of details time the existence and influence of lgbtq people in our nation's capital is as long as it is invisible secret city examines the unknown or barely known lives of gay people working and living in our nation's capital a city known for its mix of power and secrets an example of the triumph of lgbtq people in america nbc news with secret city cricket will be catapulted into the ranks of those journalists whose work will be read for generations new york sun cricket secret city researches and illuminate just how homosexuality shaped presidential administration in the 20th century parade there's never been a book like secret city which documents over a half century of the gay political and social scenes in the us capital city a sweeping uh, epic history of gay dc the daily beast kurchik refreshingly protects the gay washington underground as a parallel and central world to the seat of american power instead of merely a gay ghetto it is in many years one of the most human works of history written this decade so far much like the gay community itself the book contains people from every social class color personality and profession from disabled and impoverished veterans to the country's second most powerful diplomat never preachy self conscious or boring secret city has raised the bar for the genre portraying its subject and that city in all its contradictions I won't forget it. Washington Examiner, a meticulously researched, a vital new addition to the historical record. Secret City chronicles American history, proving that queer history in the U.S. is really just history. The Advocate, engrossing, novelistic, and deeply sympathetic to minorities persecuted in the last century. A comprehensive and deeply human work of history. Washington Monthly, sweeping new. book washingtonian dc's latest must read axios secret city is itself full of high grade gossip and i mean that as a compliment but kurchit is up to serious business as well the broad sweep should make this book the standard on its subject reason a riveting and sober look at american history arlington magazine kurchit's history is an inspiring and overdue tribute to the brave individuals who fought for acceptance in a city and government lot long pitted against them In Secret City, James Kirkich has written delicious page uh, turner that also an important and masterly work of American history commenta- commentary. In the absorbing and well documented book, Kirkich in- engagingly draws attention to a variety of gay histories that have been largely lost to mainstream history. Ambitious and convincing, the book offers countless illuminating stories that have been grossly underserved in past political histories. An important addition to American history, Kirkus. Ambitious, available, and often fascinating revision of U.S. political history. Publishers Weekly. is scrupulously researched and novelistic in a style secret city is an extraordinary achievement in this spend binding journey from the new deal to the end of the cold war james kirkich draws us into the demi monde of gay washington's uh, our dangerous world swirling with informal scandal sheets blacklist clandestine networks and brave fighters for equality shedding new light on the figures we thought we knew he introduces us to compelling individuals we will never forget not since robert caro's years of lyndon johnson have, have i been so riveted by a work of history secret city is not gay history it's american history george stefano polles 
In Secret City, James Kirkish tells a Washington, D.C. Cold War story that few have heard how the political obsession with secrecy together with the fear of communist influence distorted perceptions not only of gay people but of reality itself weaving together political, social, and cultural history. Secret City offers an unexpected corrective to the historical record and apple bomb pollster uh, prize winning author of gulag and iron curtain a remarkable hugely impressive accomplishment exhaustively researched skillfully told erudite heartfelt that it speaks not only to the impact of double lives on our nation's life but also to the individual toll of wailing your soul it makes me sad but more than that it makes me grateful for all that has changed since those days of lies and whispers, Frank Bruni, contributing opinion, opinion writer, the New York Times. Gretchen takes us from the FDR administration to Bill Clinton with a thoroughness and eye for detail that astonish. Lovers of Washington lore will enjoy the depiction of gay life in the nation's capital when it was entirely underground and lovers of justice will take pleasure in the fact that some of the most repulsive characters in modern political history who ruined so many lives and careers are brought to justice in the only way they can be now the historical record andrew holler and author of dancer from the dance now and then a new book about american politics comes along for which revelation seems seems to tame a world so proudly does it alter our understanding of almost everything we thought we knew james kirk's remarkable history of the secret life of washington is just such a book a triumph of investigation and storytelling. Uh, Sam Tannen, horse author of Whitaker Chambers, a biography and former editor of the New York Times book review. Secret City is a sweeping grand look. at once was forced to be hidden in this in his deeply researched narrative kirchik has restored men and women lost to history due to their sexuality and in doing so he shines a new light on our understanding of politics and government evoking memories of and the band played on this look at the secret city makes our history clear. John A. Farrell, author of Richard Nixon, The Life. Kirkic has written a mesmerizing and moving account of gray proximity to power and the shocking resistance to it in America's capital city long before the modern gay rights movement began. Thanks to Kirkic, this important history will be overlooked no more. Dale Carpenter, author of Flagrant Conduct, The Story of Lawrence, v texas so this was uh, a little bit uh, about uh, uh, the thing and now friends i will go on a break and i will ask dj to play the movie which i gave him to play hello viewers this is Dr. Afshan Hashmi with her segment Glam World with Dr. Afshan Hashmi and now I want to tell you that there are some beautiful moments captured in the camera on my second book launch of the outbreak of the monstrous infection and enjoy these beautiful moments and let me know your comments at afshan at drafshanhashmi.com. Thank you and Cheers and bye bye. Uh, but I have a question for you. How did your humble husband, and in which way did Mustafa Bhai contribute and help you in writing the outbreak of a monstrous infection? Uh, this book I kept in close. To my heart I didn't show him anything in fact in last book I used to show him but this one he was very curious that what am I doing who am I what am I doing what what am I writing because he was very curious and sometimes he would he would be happy sometimes he would be irritated but 
I, I didn't show him any script. But uh, when I was sitting and deciding the name of the book, then all of a sudden I was thinking of names and he said monstrous word would be good. So I liked it and the monstrous words come from Mustafa. So that's all his contribution is. That's all is I think I think Mustafa Bhai, where is he? He needs a big round of applause. Where are you? I think this is the biggest contribution I've ever Dr. Mira, hint hint. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, here, uh, this, this really amazed me. And we, Desis are very, very good at giving gifts and attending rituals and celebrations. And we don't go in one, but we go in thousands to attend as a celebration. Now, in this particular book, what got to me was I have attended thousands and thousands of celebrations. I have served as a master of ceremony. I've danced and I've held microphone in just about every hotel in Washington, D.C., international, national. This is the first time in Trump, though. Um, but I have never, I have never heard of the following gift giving. I've heard people say, um, is, you don't have to bring a gift. Just write your donation to the temple. Or, oh, thank you very much for the present. But in this particular book, the gift giving is nothing but blood donation. Now, uh, Dr. Hashmi, can you explain this? This is very, very um, intriguing. How did you come up with this? How on earth did you think of this idea? As you know, Neelma, I love creativity and innovation. And that's why I like President Trump so much. In India, I have seen many patients without having the right blood available to them in the hospitals, especially pregnant women. Then the family is already so stressed out, goes into panic mode. It's a very good gesture to donate blood. If one is healthy, one should practice donating blood more often. Also, some hospitals in India have difficulty in getting the blood. The book is about a wealthy couple getting married. God Almighty have given them everything. So why not, instead of asking for present, ask your guests to donate blood? I wanted to highlight this problem and educate my viewers and readers on it. Very interesting. It's more of a reason for you all to, to acquire the book and read the book. Now, Dr. Hashmi, we all know that you're a world-renowned, uh, famous author, a radio personality, a Fox 5 TV artist, and a broadcast diva. You've always stated to me, whenever I've met you, no matter how busy you are, that one lives and learns in life, and that is a motto that you've always followed very closely to your heart. Might we know, would you like to share what experiences in your life might you have encountered that has made you to author this current publication? Thank you, Nilma, for this wonderful question. I just wanted to write a science fiction book and show my science capabilities to the world because I didn't get a faculty position and this is kind of a very, very weak point for me. I was very disappointed when I did not get a faculty position and had to leave science because of it. How long can one do postdoctoral fellowship? It's very hard, long hours. Sometimes at, like in the night at 12 or 1, I used to be back, very tired. I had no family life. Mustafa would come and sit there. And since my experiment was going on, so how long a married person can do that? And with po postdoctoral fellowship, it is that uh, after a certain age, they don't even take you as postdoc. So I wanted to highlight this, and also I wanted to highlight how much damage viruses and bacteria can cause to the human population. Hmm, beautiful. But you know what? Life is long. Don't lose hope, because you never know. There's several doctors here, and uh, even, even in medical field, and Dr. Witek probably can uh, vouch for this, because there are some people that we know young children, young students that actually write part one, part two of board, but then there's a certain amount of time that is given to write your third board to become a physician to practice medicine. But then there are other venues, there are other research fields, or authors like you, they, they, they venue into other ways, which you successfully did. So congratulations again. I'm looking for a job, and there are a couple of people from NIH. Avi Bhai, 
Can I become your assistant? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm first in the number because I'm biochemist. <laughs> <laughs> now, getting back to my questions, Dr. Hashmi, I know you've traveled the world. Um, you're, you're, you're a renowned traveler as well. And I know that you recently paid a visit to India. Did your, um, this, this visit have any impact or any relationship to your current book? That's a very interesting question, Neelma. No, not really. This plot was already developed by me way before going to India in my most recent trip, which was in my, the wedding of my niece. I have attended many weddings of affluent people in India. As you know, I am descendant of a royal family of Pahitya, a town in eastern UP of Ghazipur. My maternal and paternal grandpas were cousins, and my maternal grandpa, a renowned freedom fighter of India, left everything in Pahitya and moved to Lucknow to inspire young generation of India during the freedom struggle of India. He started a newspaper, which is today's Kami Awaz. All my life I have attended all kinds of wedding and took active part in traditional settings. So I know how weddings takes place in India. I have taught culture of India to vast audience. So this is all coming from experience. So friends, how did you like? This was my launch of the second book, The Outbreak of a Monstrous Infection. This book here uh, in uh, Trump International and I did the launching ceremony in that hotel and it was a beautiful launch and you know many of, I invited many of my friends so how did you like that so coming back to the do let me know in the in the uh, comment section and your thoughts about it and also uh, I would uh, like you to please sponsor this show as this show is syndicated worldwide to 300 million listeners having said that this is the book we are reviewing today and i have read some editorial about the book about the author and also i have uh, given you the editorial reviews from various newspapers and personalities and my review is that this book is very well written. I did not know about the book. I saw this book while browsing books in Barnes and Noble store. I like the way the book is written and give it five stars. And I can review your books, movies and cosmetic products in this program and do send me some books to review. And I have reviewed thousands of books and cosmetic pro products as well as movies and TV series and I can do that and just imagine how your product will be promoted in a grand way in a very reasonable price to more than 300 million listeners as this program as I said earlier also is syndicated worldwide to 300 million listeners and now I have reviewed uh, my uh, this book and now I will read little bit from this book this is the front of the book and this is the back of the book This is Comrades. Since its establishment by an act of Congress in 1790, Washington, D.C. has attracted men and women from every segment of American society, Federalists and Anti-Federalists, Democrats and Republicans, Northerners and Southerners, Easterners and Westerners, immigrants and native citizens and slaves all have come to this marble uh, metropolis to join in the perpetual endeavor to form a more perfect union included among their number though scarcely recognized then or now has been another group of americans one whose obscurity was the consequence of their being forced to hide what linked them was a sin so vile as to be virtually unspeakable the early christian church condemned these descendants of the biblical sodom and gomorrah as those who exchange natural relations or unnatural so this is little bit from the comrades and now let me read little bit
this moral leper in the in his opening argument at the perjury trial of Al Alger his which began on June 1, 1949 at the U.S. District Courthouse in Manhattan, and lawyer Paul Stryker dem demonstrated for the packed courtroom why he was the greatest criminal defense attorney since Clarence Dora. I will take Alger his by the hand, Stryker told the jurors, and I will lead him before you from the date of his birth down to this hour. Even though I would go into the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil because there is no blot or blemish on him. As for his accusers, Whitaker Chambers had been a furtive, secretive, deceptive man even before he joined the low-down nefarious, filthy conspiracy against the land that I love and you love and whose blood money he accepted for the prostitution of his soul. So it's a very well-written book with a lot of American history. And I loved reading this book. And uh, if you get a chance, do read this book. And I give this book five stars. Having said that, friends, now I, I will go on a break and will be back soon. Would you love exposure for your business product or service to over 300 million potential listeners? Send an email to info at talkformedia.com. And now let's hear from some of our sponsors. A monstrous infection is spreading worldwide. Oh my God, is this a simple infection or a deliberate attempt to ruin the human population? Or maybe it's bioterrorism. What is this global infection and who is spreading it? Help us find out. Go to Amazon and search for the outbreak of a monstrous infection. The human race needs your help to make this go viral. Go to Amazon.com and read the outbreak of a monstrous infection to find out what happens next. Go now. The world is depending on you. The Outbreak of a Monstrous Infection Chapter 1, 1964 to 2018 and this is the sample track and it is read by Dr. Afshan Nahid Hashmi. In a sprawling bungalow in Potomac, Maryland, USA, lived Dr. Honey Singh, a board certified internal medicine and family practice physician, along with his beautiful wife, Baby Singh. Baby Singh was a fashionista and was funding women's causes through her Honey Bay Foundation. She had a ladies' book club by the name of Baby's Glam and Glitzy Club which had many glam and glitzy ladies who were professionals living in Washington, D.C., Potomac, Maryland, Virginia, and even Beverly Hills, California, as well as elites from all of America meeting at her place on the last Wednesday of every month discussing various aspects of charities they wanted her and Dr. Honey to fund. In this club, there was a wide spectrum of career women. There were doctors, lawyers, actors, business owners and models to name a few. In these book club meetings, members would come prepared after reading a book of a famous woman author and that author was even invited from any part of the world to give her presentation followed by a Q&A in this prestigious and elite gathering. So now I will read a little bit from this chapter 10 of the book and it says home in turn if you are wondering where your wandering semi boy is tonight the authors of the third most popular non-fiction book of 1951 reveal he's probably in washington an editor and a columnist respectively for the right wing new york Daily Mirror, Jack Late, and Lee Montemer had published moderately successful pulp paperback exposes of Chicago and New York City before setting their heart 
void site on the nation's capital though the uh, though the scammy under belly of urban america was there be it nothing prepared those muck um, uh, rakers for the depravity de they would recount in washington confidential we think we have x-rayed the disease and this will amaze you as it did us the dirtiest community in america late and mortimer announced so friends this was reading little bit from this book and i already gave this book five stars and uh, please do give a sponsorship for these shows because it requires a lot of uh, money to produce these uh, kind of shows and also send me some books cosmetics movies or tv serials to review and i have reviewed thousands of tv serials if you give me sponsorship of this show your show your uh, your product will be promoted in a very grand way to more than 300 million listeners just imagine the vast audience i have for this program and for and please go and buy this book the modern mughal mentality new strategies to succeed in india and the global marketplace and the outbreak of a monstrous infection these two books were amazon bestsellers and this first book the modern mughal mentality new strategies to succeed in india and the global marketplace was also hot number one new release on amazon and this one was also an amazon bestseller and i as i said these two books were amazon bestsellers and for this first book the modern mughal mentality i want a documentary to be made so all those companies who are featured in this please contact me at afshan at dr afshan hashmi.com and and independent producers bollywood hollywood netflix amazon producers and directors please contact me at afshan at dr afshan hashmi.com and for this one the outbreak of a monstrous infection i want a movie to be made so please all those hollywood bollywood producers please contact me at afshan at afshan at dr afshan hashmi.com and uh, now friends i will end this program and see you next time Thursday on Hollywood Radio and Talk for TV uh, at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time live. Cheers and bye bye. You've been listening to Meet and Greet with Dr. Afshan Hashmi on K4HD Radio and Talk 4 TV. Tune in live right here every Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Would you love exposure to your business, product, or service to over 300 million potential listeners? Send an email to info at talk4media.com. And remember, if you miss any part of this show or want to hear it again, find our featured show on iHeartRadio or YouTube, where all past episodes are available on demand 24-7. See you next Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, right here on K4HD and Talk4TV.